to Stephanie Schiffer. I'd like to start with a song that I wrote for the first man I ever loved. There'll be no strings to bind your hand Not if my love can't bind your heart And there's no need to take a stand For it was I who chose to start I see no reason to take me home I'm old enough to face the dawn just call me angel of the morning, angel Just touch my cheek before you leave me, baby Just call me angel of the morning, angel Then slowly turn away I won't beg you to stay with me Maybe the sun's light will be dim So it won't matter anyhow If morning's echo says we have sinned Well, it was what I wanted now And if we're victims of the night I won't be blinded by the light just call me angel of the morning, angel Just touch my cheek before you leave me, baby Just call me angel of the morning, angel Then slowly turn away I won't beg you to stay with me through the tears of the pain of the years baby 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 just call me angel of the morning angel just touch my cheek before you leave me oh baby just call me my cheek before you leave me baby baby oh baby either but i could i could uh, write uh better than i could write i think what took you from america to england to work for new music <laughs> airplanes <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> um he isn't well is he no i moved from england because i no he isn't well he's got uh, mental handicaps <laughs> but um i couldn't uh I didn't like living in America, so I moved to England. Right. And then the journalist thing came along just as a was that accident. It wasn't. I didn't go there to write. In fact, I wasn't good at writing. It wasn't my something I wanted to pursue. I was just that a plan by you though to get yourself into a musical area where you'd meet good bands and maybe end up no, in a band? Not really, because I didn't try to get a band together for quite a few years after I left America. Right. I just was leaving because I wanted to move. Get out. Pete, you were in a band here called the Bushwhackers. Yep. Now you went back to England, and obviously the band gets together, and the guys are leaving. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a lovely bloke. Right. Do, a, do on, come back on, with you on, at some time. On, right. So, when you left the Bushwhackers, was there any uh, ill feeling there between you and the guys, or uh, it was just the fact you wanted to go back and join a group in England? You mean animosity, as it were? Yeah. Uh, no. I think they wished me every success. Now they hate my guts. No, but, uh, they, why? you went and saw them the because, other night. Yeah, why would anyone hate you? Because, <laughs> she says that to all the bass players of yours. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough of that. No, they were. Uh, um, I saw them, um, actually. I just caught the last 20 minutes of uh, one of their gigs. They'd just gone to Europe. Yeah. 
And uh, I managed to catch him at the old Manly Vale. You managed to there. get up off the floor and actually watch them. So how and, uh, you, when you got back there, how did you guys... I just wanted to say how good they were. Yeah, they were they, good. Oh, they, oh, they, they are as well. Fantastic. Exactly. So how did you guys... You all lived in the same area or something? You knew each other? Well... What, what brought the pretenders together this time? I met Chris, and I knew the other two guys from... We all come from the same hometown, a place called Hereford. Mm. 150 you can miles out tell. of London. And, uh, yeah, you can tell we're all sort of... You know, They're sort of country bumpkins, Incestuous... Really. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you meant by that, but I didn't like it. With the None of us <laughs> like you, in fact. <laughs> you guys are going to make this hard. I, I can just feel it coming on. What did you have now, knowing Pete, and Pete had worked in me. Australia, what, did you, what was your idea of Australian bands? Did you think that they were very good before you came out this time? Do you think they're very good now? I Wait, haven't seen you? any. Touch it, touch it. You haven't yeah, seen any Australian bands? You haven't been out to see us. There's no, so, there's I don't so like many, to go out to clubs or anything. I stay in my room and drink hot chocolate, watch listen, movies listen if there's the any late movies on. There was an excellent one on last night, actually. Mm -hmm. Do you, you said it came originally out of that, what was termed new wave area, and we won't hang that right on you now, but to come out of that area, did you find that a lot of your followers, after having a lot of success with the first album, would go, hey, all of a sudden they're successful, we don't want to know them. Was there any backlash there? They didn't want or to did they Not cop really, that? because we didn't have a... We didn't really have a, a following before we started recording. We recorded our first single, Stop Your Sobbing, before... Yeah. Uh, we'd actually even started doing gigs, so we didn't have, like, a, a following around town, you know, mm. who resented us getting some success because we weren't uh, a little cult band right. anymore. Did smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Everybody! Smelly cat, smelly cat, it's not your fault. Monica! They won't take you to the vet. Chandler! <laughs> Obviously not their favorite pet. Joey! May not be a bed of roses. Rachel! You're not a friend to those with noses. <laughs> uh, Ross, those are the only lines we have, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Back to the chorus, everybody. Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Smelly cat, smelly cat, it's not your fault. A smelly cat! Smelly cat, smelly cat. <laughs> smelly cat, smelly cat. Better. Yeah? Yeah, much better. Good. And you know what? Don't, don't feel bad, because it's a hard song. Yeah. <laughs> you want to try it again? Yeah, from the top. Okay, there is no top, all right? That's, that's the beauty of smelly cat. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> why don't you just follow me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Smelly cat, smelly cat, it's not your fault. Okay, too much. Sorry. <laughs> 